In this video, we will discuss where the pigtail tray and statlock device are located in the ED and the contents of the pigtail tray, how to use the triangle of safety to select a safe place on the patient to perform the procedure. We will then review a stepwise approach to placement of the pigtail catheter. And finally, we will review some common pitfalls and how to avoid them. For this procedure, you will need the 14 French Wayne pneumothorax tray, a water seal chest drain, and the statlock device. The pigtail tray and statlock device are located in the recess area just outside of the conference room. Be sure to grab both the pigtail tray itself and the statlock device, as the statlock does not come inside of the pigtail kit. Once opened, the pigtail tray contains all of the necessary equipment you'll need to perform the procedure except for the statlock. The triangle of safety is an anatomical region in the axilla that helps guide safer pigtail catheter placement. With the arm abducted as demonstrated in the image, the triangle is bordered anteriorly by the lateral edge of the pectoralis major, superiorly by the base of the axilla, laterally by the lateral edge of the latissimus dorsi, and inferiorly by the fifth intercostal space. As with all procedures with intercostal approach, be sure to place the catheter close to the superior border of the rib below the intercostal space to help avoid injury to the intercostal neurovascular bundle. Prior to starting the procedure, ensure that your stopcock is securely onto your pigtail and the cap is covering the port that will go to the environment. Also ensure that the obturator is already loaded into the pigtail. You'll notice that the pigtail straightens and that you'll be able to screw in the obturator into the three-way stopcock. First, sterilely prep the patient as you would and drape. Then anesthetize in the appropriate anatomic location over the, through the skin and then down to the rib and then over your tract, just over the rib. Next, take your introducer needle and go through the anesthetized portion of skin down to the rib. March over the rib and enter the pleura just over the rib, avoiding the neurovascular bundle. Aspirate as you go along and you will get air into your syringe when you enter the pleural space. Then, with your non-dominant hand, stabilize the needle. Remove the syringe with your dominant hand. Then, take your guide wire and thread the wire through the needle. You're aiming to get about 10 centimeters worth of wire through the needle. Make sure that it passes smoothly
Then remove the needle over the wire. Next, using your scalpel, make a skin incision carefully going away from the wire. Take your dilator and place it over the wire. Advance the dilator over the wire through the subcutaneous tissue in a rotating fashion until it just enters the pleural space. Remove the dilator. Again, ensure that your wire moves freely. Then load your pigtail catheter with the obturator already in place over the wire. You may need to back the wire up so that the wire comes out the end of the pigtail. Advance the pigtail until all holes are covered and to the hash marks. The first hash mark marks five centimeters from the holes. Then remove both the obturator and the wire simultaneously. To the end of the stopcock, attach the plastic connecting tube. Then to the other end, attach your sterile water seal chest drain. After suturing the pigtail catheter in place, you'll then place the stat lock catheterization device. The first step is to use an alcohol swab to prep the area around the insertion site. You'll let that dry for 15 to 30 seconds before lining up the stabilization device about two to three centimeters from your insertion site. Using one hand to stabilize your catheter and the other hand to straighten the catheter through the stabilization device then using your fingers behind the catheterization device, you will use your thumbs to close and press the, the stabilization device closed. Then remove the, the covers to the stickers. and ensure that they are secure on the patient's skin. Once the pigtail is secured, dress the insertion site with gauze and tape. You should avoid using xeriform or Vaseline gauze as this can dissolve the adhesive on the stat lock. After you've applied a dry occlusive dressing, obtain a post-procedure chest x-ray to confirm appropriate tube placement and assess for lung re-expansion. A complete list of some of the commonly encountered pitfalls can be found on the eDrive website. Thank you for watching.